Hello, this is Jay Rodman, uh, playing Bard's Tale 3, and, um, sorry, I have to sound too loud and it's distracting me. Anyway, uh, I just finished level 2 of the White Tower, and we're about to embark on level 3. I have a small confession to make. I was stuck on the train, it was delayed, and I played a little bit of the game. Mostly I was just killing random monsters. I was like, oh, I'll just get a little experience, no big deal. And I got an item. Not a big item, but I got a yellow staff for Elendor, so her armor class dropped. Turns out yellow staffs improve your armor class by three points, not two points like a shield staff does. So a yellow staff is like a shield staff and a little extra and a mage staff. Anyway, so we entered... Hold on, I have a cough to make. Okay, we entered um, the third level of the White Tower, uh, which is right here. And the first thing we get asked is, are the stairs going to go down right back to where you came from? And again, we get asked, there are stairs going up. So we have another level where the stairs up and down are in the same location. I don't know why they just put them next to each other be less confusing and less annoying because oh I should mark that there's a silence in front of me to the east somewhere um and less annoying because when I try to turn in place like I'm turn north it goes hey there's still some stairs up no no and then I turn and it's going to ask me again because I don't want to walk into a wall because it's not allowed and even if I do walk in a wall it asks me again anyway um and to the west no I still don't want to go up Okay, so because one, two, three, there's no silence in these three, therefore the silence I can see to the east on the wraparound is in this location. And I'm going to brave this answer once more to look south and decide that the spinner is down here. Uh, to the south, there's a door. And to the east, there's walls, which I already drew because I already looked over there before I showed you, sorry. Uh, turn on the bardstone again. Uh, there's a message in this square. And I'm gonna pause recording while I type it up. Okay, it reads, shattered ice on the wall reveals a small carving that reads, Kala and Hawkslayer, New Age, Anno Uno and Eternity. I don't know whether this means that they... Obviously, this says to me that Kala and Hawkslayer are some kind of couple. It kind of suggests sort of 14 spray-painted Johnny loves Susie, but maybe I'm supposed to get, you know, a match made in heaven uh, will live forever, something like that. Uh, I still don't know whether Hawkslayer is from this place, but if he gets hitched here... Um, he certainly got roots here, and I do wonder whether his significant other, um, is stayed, right? Whether did his significant other remain part of this place, uh, while he wandered off to be here elsewhere? So she's, is she frozen to death? Anyway, um, I guess it's not super important to my quest, but... A potential question. Mm. There's not enough of them. Arctic Mage and Jack Frost both require me to cast a bunch of spells to pull them in to make it more manageable. Just the experience points versus hit points versus spell points uh, ratio seems off, so I'm refusing that fight. Uh, to the south, we have a Room of Darkness. Kicking east tells me there's a wall. Kicking south says there's a wall. To the west, there's no wall. But more darkness. Uh, again, we have... This is going to cost me a bunch of spell points, but at least there's four ice reavers to kill. So I should get some decent experience out of it. 
Uh, I'm going to use luck on my... I'm rethinking what I'm going to do this round. I'm going to use luck on my Chronomancer Elendor because I have the vague impression that it gives a better chance of melee men to work to pull in the enemy casters. Well, one of them worked. Kill the cult mage, kill the greater demon. We repelled all of the... I wonder why we didn't kill the greater demon. Kill greater demon... Wait, I mistyped. Kill greater demon one, kill greater demon two. I guess I'll do armor class, hoping it helps my frontliners hit those greater demons more reliably. And I also raised my armor class, hoping, or improved my armor class, hoping that would hit the demons more reliably. Uh, they did hit it, hit them, but I don't. I don't know if that's a uh, real association or superstition. We'll see over time. I'll eventually, I don't know. Maybe I'll never get become certain. At this point, I'm just going to let my rogue slowly inch over the mage and kill it. I still can't get over that. The mage is a lizard. I don't know whether that's like an error or it's really a spellcasting lizard. I mean, uh, why, you know, I don't know why humans should have all the spellcasting fun, but it's just a strange description. If it was like dragon mage or lizard mage or I don't know anything. So west and south are solid walls. Let's try north. We get back to the uh, we get back to the note. So north is a one-way wall, and we get the most complicated enclosed four-space. Uh, I mean, I don't know, like. We've got a one-way wall, a message, a, two kinds of stairs, darkness zones. Uh, I, I feel like there's so much packed into this space for no reason at all. Um, anyway, it's sort of an odd level. I suspect that the rest of the level will be just as pointless as the one below. Oh wait, that's not what I meant to do. But, um, I'm gonna explore it anyway. Again, phase door don't work. How about, but teleport probably will work. East minus one. Sure enough. Uh, if I could get my keystrokes right. Facing west, uh, I can see something like this. And we can see the quiet zone and the stairs, neither of which are surprising. To the north we see it. There's a trap. And a wall. Presumably... Oh, it's a one-way wall to the east. Well, I guess it's loud. Oh, I moved forward because I pressed enter on the wrong 
well, let's teleport again. I pressed enter on the game instead of enter on my mapping software. So I moved forward when I didn't mean to. Uh, I didn't mean to do new order. Okay, and to the south, we can see a, a gap of one and then a door, is that right? I think it's just a door one in front of us. That's what we see. If you step forward this way. Uh, we can see the trap this way too. Could be two different traps, but I think um, that means the trap is here or here. Yes. From here, it's easier to see the one-way walls. We can diagonally see through this wall. We can see this door standing alone. And this is also a one-way wall. Forgo going south for now. Uh, in this direction, there is a something and a spinner. To the west, there's nothing. The north, there's a something and a spinner. So one, two, three. I think they're one of these two spaces. Uh, I'm a little confused because I thought it said something in spinner, and then I thought I stepped forward and it said only spinner, but I guess it just drew spinner and then had to fight and something was later. Uh, I'm going to step into the quiet zone. North there's nothing. South there's nothing. Let's go through the western door. Wall in front, one way wall to the north, and something to the south. Is it a one way wall? Is it an open space? Okay, this time I w we were, or I was, I guess. I don't know. I don't know which pronoun to use. A lot of other recorders say we to include the parties. Anyway, um, uh, there's another message here. Something about a crib. So exploring this level was not useless. Okay, all of these enemies are Malay attackers. So I'm going to focus on my armor class.
And since I'm at full hit points, I'm gonna switch my bard song over to Rhyme of Duo Time, I guess. I don't think it helps my spellcasters to recover spell points. But I have this vague idea that it might give me more chances to get critical hits. Which may or may not be true. I don't want to type that out. Basilisk snare, too many letters. Especially on the when I have to hit them robotically one at a time. Okay, so our message is a small crib is here. Engraved in a heart-shaped border is Hawkslayer and Kala. And beneath this, the emblem is the name beneath this emblem is the name Utor. supposed to be husband and wife and they've had a son or daughter named Utor. Um, now Hawkslayer supposedly hasn't been here for a long time and um, so I don't know when this crib is from. The Utor could be all grown up. Looking east I see some kind of walls here and I also found out North side is a one way wall. West wall is real, at least on this side. Okay, let's try stepping forward. Uh, we don't get a message about a trap, so I guess I was wrong about. Or no, I think I put both those trap symbols down to say it was one of those two. Well, it's not this one. Uh, we did look south here, and we didn't get the quiet message. Um, but and we did look south here, and didn't get the quiet message. So I think the quiet zone is here, where we couldn't look because of the message, and we couldn't look because of the darkness, which is because it's a message. Oh, and I don't, I'm not even where I think I am, so this was all completely bogus. There we go. Now now we have our, our trap being near, and this bogus quiet zone was wrong. Okay. The wall east seems to be a real wall, because I didn't go through it when I kicked. Instead of going through it, I got a fight. Down the icon for message. I forgot to do that. I feel like my spell points have gone down, which makes me wonder if I missed spell point drain again. Could be that I just actually fought some battles. No, 
now we're definitely getting spell point drained in this spot. And I, as I turn side to side to confirm it and get drained more, I don't know. That's the price we pay. So um, from this location, we don't see a spinner and we don't see a trap. So I'm dropping these, assuming the trap is there, the spinner is there at the end. There's also a spell point drain zone here. Uh, when I step forward to this zone, we the spinner message goes away and the something message goes away. So um, we're standing on the something. I'm going to hit warp and see what my spell points do. They go up by two, so this is a spell point regen zone. Because one source of spell point increase is the staves that my magic users are, my, my casters are wielding, and the other source is this spell point regen. looking at okay so from this square we can see a spinner so that means one two three there has to be a spinner in one of those three uh, and from this square facing the other way run not interested not right now We can also see a spinner. That's the same three. I'm being dumb. But we can see a wall here. And to the north, there's a wall, which means. This was not here as a wall either. So I think this is a one way wall for both of these. Maybe I'll check later. Facing north, we still detect the trap, we still see a door, but there's some kind of barrier forward and to the right of it. Okay, so from this location, turning north, we can see a wall from this side we couldn't see on the other side. And west, unsurprisingly, there's a one-way wall here. From 
here looking west, we also can't detect the trap. We've doubly confirmed the trap is there. East is the only way out that we can see. Uh, I didn't mean to put that down. It might turn out to be a one-way wall there, but that, that was not intended. Okay, so looking north, we can see through this door, making this a one-way wall, and we also don't see this wall. West, it's open. The south, we can detect the spinner. And we can see that this is a one way wall this way. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna step south into the spinner, which won't spin us because of our no spin ring. And I'm gonna get a fight. And ice bears, I'll totally fight. A breath ring. Somehow I think breath ring is going to be a use it for a breath weapon attack. Oh, right. So um, I tried, I forgot about this. I tried passing the light star among all my party members and none of them could use it and none of them could equip it. I'm pretty sure it's like a morning star. No. No, like a death star, which is a better form of throwing star. I think this is a ninja weapon, meaning a hunter weapon, meaning someone not in my party. So I'm dropping it. I'm going to hand the breath ring off to fighter. See if they can use it. They can. gem off to a caster. Uh, can they use it? They can equip it, but can they use it? Powerless. Okay. Uh, can they, she equip it? Armor class 26. Armor class 24. I'm a little hesitant to lower the armor class of my frontliners. For now, I'm just going to keep carrying it around. However, my mages, I think it's past time for them to use gems. Well, at least Lillian. Okay, I tried the eastern wall, the southern wall, and then came around like this. Facing west, there is another one-way wall. <laughs> they, they're just they're just passing these out like candy. Um, and I think that gives me no way to get back to this section. So I'm going to teleport. Okay, and now we can detect the 
that this was a one-way wall going north, and we can still detect the trap, which I'll finally bother to get rid of. Also surprisingly, this is a wall in either direction. So I'm going to stroll around in here a bit to see where I failed to notice the magic point drain. Uh, definitely here. In this location. Because no drain, no drain. Oop, it didn't go there. Definitely a magic drain here. South. No magic drain. And we can verify this one way wall is as we thought it was. No magic drain here either. Still have to come back around through this square. Okay, so for some reason, uh, maybe I'm getting luckier. The melee man spells seem to be working somewhat reliably, even when I haven't gotten off a luck spell yet. So maybe I just got a really, really bad run of luck on pulling in enemies early on. A diamond helm. That sounds like an upgrade. What does Loki Lady Oakshield currently have her helm? An adamant helm. Okay, 26 to 27? Yes. Can Chantrell use an adamant helm? Oh, she already has one. I think I've been down this road. Can Elena use an Adamant's helm? Yes, and I already had one. Can... Does Grisnak already have a better helm than that? No, it has an Adamant helm. So, you don't need a fifth one. Let's drop it. Oh, I forgot about uh, trying to exhaust this master wand. I'm gonna keep at that. So, I think all we gained from this level was the knowledge that Hala and Cal, Cal Coxlayer and Kala got married, assuming that's a man and a woman, 
and that they had a child named Utor. Now you finished the level, but uh, given the speed, I'm going to continue. This is up and down also? Did I go the wrong way? I may have gone the wrong way. Uh, scry site. One level above. Yeah, I do. I went down instead of up. I didn't pay attention to the question. Shame on me. Down, no, up, yes. Down, no, up, yes. Okay, so now we're on level four. Down, no, no, up question. Not sure exactly why I pressed auto map. Don't know what I thought it would. I thought it would tell me. So we're in a, a little dead end here, and we can't detect anything in any direction. That's a little unexpected. And given that there's a message here, I wonder if my second site's been turned off, so I'll have to look into that. Hold on while I type this. So, the, this says, uh, the rime-crusted walls are a perfect example of antique architecture long since lost the world you call home. The frozen beauty of this tower is a priceless treasure you will carry with you always. Um, so, I don't think we got any new information out of that, but we got, it's old, and, uh, it's pretty. I think we're in a darkness zone, because when I use light, it goes out, although we don't get a darkness message, presumably because... message overrides the darkness message. north and south. I check them first by walking to them and then by kicking so I can determine door versus wall. Theoretically this is telling me but it's tricky to read. Uh, west, so it's subtle. It, it, it says when I go west it says darkness instead of darkness darkness because when you stay in the same square it doesn't clear the prior message. It's a little silly. So here's, you know, this was me trying to move forward and I didn't move forward. Same here. Kick. I think, I think I can, I think it's going to be wall, door, uh, not one way wall. Door, and then an open space to the north. So first I'm going to try moving north. I'm wrong. Kicking north. Okay, so it's a door to the north. And we're out of darkness here. a wall in front to the right there are stairs we also just learned that this is a one-way wall south because from this side there's no wall and door west I should explicitly recast sorcerer site because I'm concerned that it fell off. Mostly because this didn't get us there's something near, but maybe messages don't reliably turn up in Sorcerer's Sight. I'm a little unclear on that. Trapped the North. Wow, where is this? Where's the trap? 
Stop, stop, stop. Oh, too much. oh my goodness. Oh, nice track pads are not the best. Oh, trap to the north, rather. Nothing to the north this way. And trap to the south. Uh, and when we step to this wall, we're gonna get no information. We're gonna get darkness. So we don't know. I'm gonna go west through this. I went, I went this direction. this before the fight started. Uh, two sleet mages, some number, a, a single golem, eh, I'll give it a shot. Pull in the sleet mages. I'm having my fighters try to kill the sleep mages and the whatever golem, glacier golem, as a priority. And that seems like it was successful. From here, I'm going to focus on the ice bears because I think they do more damage. Ooh, an unidentified armor. And the song axe. The song axe is, I think, equivalent to the bard sword. It lets me use an infinite number of bard songs, I believe. So it's sort of a subtle upgrade in that uh, it doesn't make me able to sing any more bard songs, and I don't think it makes the bard songs work any better. Screw this dragon wand, I don't use the wands enough. Let's start with that. Next, use a harmonic gem, I'm low on spell points anyway. Next, what is my bard full with? I don't remember. Oh, the armor that I want to give to my rogue. And then I want my rogue to identify the armor. Diamond scale. Uh, I'm gonna give that back to my bard. Can use it. Okay, so my bard goes from negative twenty three, negative twenty four to negative twenty six, and the adamant chain can be dropped. Uh, song X can go back to the Bard. It's an it's like an upgrade in the sense that I think my Bard would do more damage on attacking, even though um, she 
it basically almost never attacks. I thought I made him space on uh, Griselda. Maybe I had two uh, harmonic gems lying around. Probably. Okay. Uh, let's equip this song axe and make sure that I'm right about what it does. Try to use it. Oh, I got a choice. I'm going to pick seven. Doesn't work. Uh, the other thing I get to do is say how many songs do you have left 39 bard song and then check again how many songs do you have left 39 okay so it does work like a bard sword um, it has a fringe use benefit which I don't know what it does whereas the bard sword does nothing and I think it does more damage so I'm going to go ahead and drop this bard sword That's enough inventory sorting for right now. Oh, this death ring I don't care about. That lets me cast Animate Dead. A very unimpressive thing to do with a dead party member when I could just bring them back to life. Why make them be a corpse that fights for me, that I can't control, that um, doesn't get experience points, when I could just resurrect them. Okay, the self, what else? We got detections to the self, which include a trap, spinner, and a something. The spinner and the something are not the north. No, the something is. But the spinner is not. So one, two, three to the north, so the spinner must be here. Uh, trap and the something could be on either side. I'm gonna just not even bother to put the two labels down yet. Seems too tedious somehow. Trap and something still there, so they must be one of these two. Oop. Let's move west and turn north after this fight gets resolved. Uh, Glacier Golems, Rhyme Lord, eh, simple enough. I'll lose hit points, but I can just restore them with a spell if I have to. Diamond Shield. We have many upgrades today. So, can a rogue use a Diamond Shield? No. Can we trade it to a bard? Yes. Can a bard use a Diamond Shield? She's like least needful of upgrades, but I just sort of interested whether it's a possibility. What's she currently using as a shield? 
Mithril shield. Wow, that's a big upgrade. She's so far ahead on the armor class. I guess she's got more slots used. Um... Lots of available on Grisnak? It sort of looks like it. Grisnak. Mm, yep. So, Diamond Shield. And. The Dragon Shield. Chantrell, can you use a dragon shield? Yes. So we can drop the mithril shield. Okay, that's enough inventory fun for that little bit. We can see quiet to the north. So we can see quiet. So presumably one of these two. But by detecting here, we get one, two, three. So we could detect it in these three. One, two, three. And we could detect it in these three of which there's only one overlapping square. We're going to use the same strategy by from this spinning square turn north, and we can detect the trap, which puts the trap on this square, but can't detect the something, which puts it on this square. Of course, we're standing in the spell point drain. that to the west there's a trap. I don't remember before stepping forward if there was a trap detection. I was in a, feeling in a hurry to get off the drain square. Uh, to the south we see wall to the east and the outer walls are solid so far. To the east we can also detect the trap. So I'm gonna Assume there's a single trap in one of these two spots. For now. Should be silence in the next step. Oh, I forgot to um, adjust this wall to be a one way wall to the north. The icons for the one-way walls are to the left and the right, so it's kind of always a confusing crapshoot for me when I want to make a one-way wall north or south. I pick one, and if it's wrong, I pick the other. Mm. We have a fight in the corner. No casters at all. My bard song's down, of course, because of the silence, so they're going to hit me the first round quite a bit.
I guess I did look north and south from this square, which means there was nothing on that column. So that means that this square, that this trap that I didn't know where it was, is in fact right here. I don't know why I can't detect this trap. Maybe I reasoned incorrectly earlier. Or maybe I cleared it without realizing, without remembering. Um, I'm going to leave that unsolved and put the stuck marker here. let up on the one-way walls. The towers are just seemingly all about the one-way walls. Speaking of which, let's check south. Nope, didn't close on us yet. I'm going to try going back to the west. Probably it's going to be a hit point drain. We'll see. No, it's not. Warping the uh, warping the game a bit. It is a spell point regen. They're being pretty generous with these. In Bardstill One, they were like so rare that I didn't realize they even existed the first time I played the game. I guess the manual didn't tell me they existed, so I didn't know to look for them. But they regenerate so un. It's a really minor effect. Uh, I think the Bard's Tale 2 manual told me that there were such locations. So I knew to look for them and found them. And I did use them a bit. There were certain dungeons where I just sat in them and left the computer for a long time. Okay, so I just stepped on the one of two possible locations for that trap, and I think confirmed this trap is here, so... Let's clear it. Um, if there was a trap here, well, maybe I'm not going to find out about it. Oh well. Okay, so I moved here and looked back to west and realized I found out there's a one way wall here that I didn't check for earlier. Facing south, you can see a wall here, or sorry, a door in front of us, and a wall down a bit. And the light has expired. Mostly fighting this Rhyme Lord because it gives me a chance to do healing bard songs. So it's going to be significantly hit point positive. Probably uh, 30 or 60, about uh, 30 health hit points for everyone. I can always cast Restoration for, I think, 15 spell points and heal everyone, but I don't know. It's sort of a penny-wise efficiency. I'm not going to worry about West. We've been there, and it seems like it's a wall on both sides of the edge. No 
surprises in this cell. Got a message here. In a flash of brilliant light, the party comes face to face with the keepers of the tower. Crap, I didn't expect that. Uh, I'm trying to save. There we go. I guess I should have expected that because there was no... I don't know. I thought there would be another level of tower. The other level tower was four high. This one was four high. Uh, in a flash of brilliant white light, the party comes face to face with, with the keepers of the tower. So... I'm going to put down the little boss icon. And if it's going to be anything like the Grey Tower, I expect to lose a lot. I don't know if I explicitly mentioned, but that's the one I failed maybe uh, four or five times before managing to succeed. And I didn't even heal, and oh, this is going to be bad. So uh, I guess the first thing to try is run away okay so we was able to run chickens fight like men's as a white wizard okay so cast a restoration spells we have full spell points and i'm gonna officially save the game a moment ago i used a save state they're not that different if you don't abuse them heavily The main advantage of the save state is retrying is way faster. Otherwise, you have to reboot the whole game. You have to like turn the computer off, boot the game again, swap disks, etc. And the net result is you try again in the same place, pretty much exactly the same way. In fact, since I got to run away, I'm going to explore the remaining spots in the dungeon before I come back and try again. Boop, boop. So, I went over here. South is open. I have my input in the wrong place? Yes. Somehow I erased the boss icon. I don't I don't know how I did it. I must have clicked it again thinking I was putting it down again. Okay. Let's try this for real now. I guess I'm going to choose to have them attack them with my two... Uh, you know, I'm not planning... I don't think they're going to advance. So... Uh, I don't have a bomb on Grisnok. It would be nice if they advanced. I'm going to assume that they cast lots of nasty spells. And that the right thing to do... Is to push them away. But let's try to get some damage in on them while I haven't got anything better to do. For example, Holy TNT. Uh, bring around Ballad for late phase healing. Hide as maybe a guarantee of win on the, on the rogue. Luck in the hope that it helps my saving throws. Uh, far foe feels like the likely key 
Uh, but I'm going to toss in a restoration to try to survive the round. Yes. How do I slower, slower? That's too many slowers. That's maybe too many fasters. Okay. Lillian got in the healing of all of us. There's the TNT. Oh, they're summoning herbs. Which I think have the... Oh, they advanced. They advanced. They came forward to fight us. Uh, I probably... Okay. That is not what I expected. Um, okay. I don't know how mean the herbs can be. Like... Or herb, or I don't know how to freaking see. He's some guy. I think he's named Herb. So, uh... I don't know if I need armor class. I'm going to kind of bring around Bar Ballad because I don't know. Okay, so kill a wizard. Another luck in the hopes of um, improving my saving throws. Anti-magic for saving throws. And restoration for survival. Well, they, they attack hand-to-hand? -hand? That, is, that is not what I expected. I wonder if their attacks are mean or if they're just like a waste of time. If they're a waste of time, then it's great that they're 10 feet away. Uh, this feels like victory. Sure, there's some herbs and I think herbs, do herbs summon more herbs? I think they maybe do. But in this game, there's a solution for that, which is Sir Robin's tune, which I'm doing right now. Um, Elena needs to hide. Uh, far death, just kill something. Kill a herb. Griselda should. More anti-magic. No, that's needed. How about invisibility and restoration for staying alive no matter what? Cast a spell and a herb appears. I kill a herb. They do hit for reasonable damage, 154, but that's not very, like if you just hit for, 154 is not enough to be very threatening when I can heal all damage every round. This is, I think, way easier than the gray wizards. I'm not even going to cast any spells. I'm not sure why I need to. That is not an inspiring picture for Herb. Hopefully I have an inventory space so I can carry the lens around. On a small pedestal that was once guarded by the white wizards is a crystal lens. Who wants to get it? Uh, one? Several bodies are stacked here and they look like they have been run through a food processor. I feel like that dates the game because I feel like we don't talk about food processors anymore. Maybe I'm just not suburban enough. Okay, so that's the solution to the White Tower. I'm probably going to cart this lens back to um, the refugee camp and stash it on a special purpose character who will just hold lenses. But um, I'm not going to do that immediately. What I'm going to do immediately is 
just get out of the tower and then save. East minus four. Or one, two, three, four to the west. Isn't that where the entrance was? Yeah, it's at the southwest corner. And up is one, two, three to the negative and teleport. Come on, come on, work. Yep. So we are out of the White Tower, successful in our raiding of its lens. And we'll stop the video here. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time when we take on the third tower. What color is it? I'm sort of suspecting it's black, because we got white and gray so far. Um, somehow that seems ominous, like maybe it's scarier, but find out soon enough. See you then.